The prison hall is drab, the verdict bleak, but Alexei Navalny, the tallest man on the video link, jokes with people around him. That charisma scares Russia's leadership, as does Navalny's ability to draw a crowd of supporters outside, even though they risk becoming police targets themselves. He's a model politician, says one supporter, so courageous. 19 years were added to his current sentence of 11 and a half. But on social media, Navalny said the number of years does not matter. I perfectly understand that, like many political prisoners, I am sitting on a life sentence, where life is measured by the term of my life or the term of life of this regime. We have to uh, put all our efforts in trying to get rid of Putin. And uh, this will mean that Alexei will be free. Russian President Vladimir Putin has long dismissed Navalny. He won't even say his rival's name. Was it an attempt to put Navalny in his, in his place? Maybe, says Andrea Chandler from Carleton University, it's irrational spite at a documentary on Navalny that won an Oscar this year. My husband is in prison just for defending democracy giving Navalny a Hollywood platform. It seems that what, from what we know about Vladimir Putin, he's not a, above those kinds of petty personal motivations. From Canada and other countries, the sentence brought condemnation. From the UN, a rebuke. Raises renewed serious concerns about judicial harassment and instrumentalization of the court system for political purposes in Russia. And there could be more. Navalny faces further charges of inciting terrorism, which could add another 35 years to his sentence. Sasha Petrusik, CBC News, Toronto.